Hey guys, Vaughn here with the Vumpster Vlog and I'm coming to you day, today braving the mosquitoes of my backyard because it is such a beautiful morning and I wanted to hang out with my kitty and my chickens and uh, we are going to be doing two poses today because it is day two. I hope you guys can hear me all right. We had a mic that was very generously sent to us from our main channel and it is not compatible with my phone. So I'm trying to figure out how to make it compatible. So until we get there, this is the audio we're dealing with. But I did wanna show you guys, we have a merch line from our main channel. Our super durable shirts uh, at the time of recording are up for pre-orders. Uh, you can check out the video description below for links to that, as well as to this yoga mat, which is my absolute favorite yoga mat of all time. Uh, I mentioned it in yesterday's video, and I'll probably keep mentioning it again because the more I use it, the more I love it. Uh, my hands don't slide on it in Downward Facing Dog, which is a miracle for me. But we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to be starting in Cat Cow. I know, baby. So, putting our knees under our hips. And yesterday I did it with my toes flexed, so today I'm going to do it with my toes on the ground. Still grounding out through the tops of my feet though. And I have my, <laughs> I have my hands here not 90 degrees under, directly under my shoulders. I have the heel of my hand in line with the calf of my shoulders. So it puts a little bit less of a bend into my wrist, or you could be up on fists. I like to alternate between the two. We're going to inhale. And exhale. I like to breathe in each posture instead of just breathing into it and then breathing out of it. I like to go a little slower. And then on the exhale, a nice arc in that back. I'm so stiff this morning. Randy and I walked a whole mile last night. I'm very proud of us, but my body is aware. <laughs> As we come through here, be aware of your spine, your abs, your hips, your hands. Just pay attention to whatever it is that you're feeling. Like this morning, I have an extreme tightness in my lower back, and I'm feeding the mosquitoes. <laughs> And now from here, we can just shift on over into cobbler's pose. You can have your feet wherever you feel like you need them. Come out of here. Let's go. Oh, you're fine. It's the mosquitoes. Because <laughs> we're actually going to do two repetitions of the flow today. And I'm just kind of wiggling it out, letting my hips open up, letting my leggings loosen. <laughs> You can add in some head rolls. Just find a moment of stillness in between the moments of movement. And if you can, you can hold on to your ankles, or you can hold on to your shins or onto your knees. Cat just <laughs> the chicken will get you. <laughs> Sorry. Nice deep breaths. Feel like you're grounding through your thighs. You don't want your thighs coming up like this. If you can actually focus on pressing and opening them. And this is something that will come with time as well. If they're particularly tight, you can put blocks underneath them just so you can get the sensation of what it feels like to press down with that part of your leg. Because that might be might be that feel a little weird. Oh, and I do like to get just a little bit, oh yeah, <laughs> of a lean forward and a kind of moving from side to side that really, on me at least, starts to uh, 
wring out the dirty sponge that my lower back feels like almost at all times. So <laughs> wring out your sponge. And we can just kind of wiggle and ease breathing the whole time through the movement. I often find that whenever I get in a position where the stretch feels tight, my impulse is to, you know, hold my breath and it's by breathing through it or letting our body know that it's okay to be there, that we're safe or supported. Well, hey, that Meg. And as we come back up out of it, pet your chicken, yeah. And let's do cat cow, but I'm gonna have my head at the other end of my mat. And this time with my nose, my toes braced under. Inhale. And exhale. I like to get a really deep scoop. <laughs> For that inhale. And then on the exhale, if you can focus on trying to tilt your pelvis first and then come into a nice open arch back. I've already lost count, but I'm just going to keep going because it feels good. And then you can come back once more into cobbler's pose. And you can repeat this as much as you like. But we're only focusing on two positions today, two postures, two asanas. And explore and find your own movement within each of these. So if a little bit of, ooh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> If a little bit of a side stretch is what makes you happy, oh my goodness. Technically, this is another posture, I'm sure, but we're just exploring space within cobbler's pose. It's such a beautiful blue cloudless sky today, this morning, here under the redbud tree. The cicadas are just starting to holler at each other, so that's nice. And that's it, y'all. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me here. And I will see y'all tomorrow in day three of one year of yoga. So keep on keeping on, y'all. Bye. Except for I gotta get up and turn off the camera now. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Okay. Bye-bye.